Hello everyone, my name is Turtle, I totally failed to fly there and welcome to today's Minecraft video. Um, we're starting this one with an embarrassment, as it looks like, uh, because I'm not able to fly. Cool. <laughs> but welcome back to our beautiful Minecraft survival world here on the Hermitcraft Season 7 seed. And we are today having some pretty cool things to do and some pretty annoying things to do. Uh, just firstly, to get a bit of excitement out the way, I got myself two perfect pickaxes. I got myself my lucky boy with fortune 3, efficiency 5, unbreaking 3 and mending because I combined the one with mending from the end with this one and another fortune thingy. And then I also got this one which is a German saying. I don't know if you guys have that too but my old teacher from grade school always used to say, um, this is a bit of German for you, sanfter als ein Babypopo, which would translate to smoother than a baby's butt or a baby's bottom or something like that. And I thought this would also be a suitable name for a silk touch pickaxe. Before we are starting off to get the main plan done, which is getting villagers over into our little area right here, and I think we're going to store them. That sounds kind of that sounds kind of bad. Storing them, but it's what we'll do. Um, we're gonna keep them in our basement somewhere. I just got to figure out where I'm gonna put a breeder and all that. But before we do that, we need to get some some more iron on the way because I used all my iron in the last episode to build the mob farm, and therefore it's time for yet another mining session. And every time I enter this mine over here, I'm feeling very sorry not having this looking prettier yet. But I promise to you, I'm going to do that in the next episode. And with that, it's time for one hour of mining. And I'm just gonna see what I can get. And once I have finished it, I will update you guys on how much iron I meant to get because that is the main goal of this mining session. I am out of the mine, but it is night time once again. It's like that every time I exit my mine for some reason. <laughs> I always go out at night time. <laughs> I love that feature. As you can see, it is currently Halloween as I'm recording this. So, hey, mate. Um, this episode is pre-recorded for weeks, but oh, they are so hard to hit these little guys. What I was gonna say is I love how on Halloween they always make the mobs wear pumpkins on their heads. That looks pretty cute if the small little zombies weren't too toxic. So let's just take this night as an opportunity maybe to fly around and check out our surroundings because I haven't done that yet. Ooh, there's a village. That's the third village in our immediate surroundings. Like semi-immediate because it's quite a far way. But we do have a desert village over there. That's good to know. We also, there's our house, right? Behind the jungle over there, it goes into a tiger biome there's also a tiger village and then there is the other village I traded the mending books in oh yeah by the way that's one thing I want to do I want to uh, introduce you to how are we gonna call him Manfred mending I want to introduce you to Manfred the good guy traded me mending books for quite an expensive price so we may want to zombify him and then cure him again but not today uh, but I still I want to get him over here now also one thing that I want to clarify I thought of in the mining session which sounds pretty weird um, was the saying of my old teacher when we had art class or something and we worked with wood we did that too and we made it smoother with uh, sandpaper then she always told us to make it as smooth as a baby's bottom BNB before and that was just for some reason 
a way to ask us to work really hard on getting the wood not uh, splintery and keep us from hurting ourselves with it. <laughs> Secondly, I thought I might tell you that I found something very annoying in my recordings, which was probably also dropping up the wall. It's my keyboard. My very good and trusty but still very loud keyboard that was just screaming as I recorded and it was like on level with my voice and I didn't want that. You know, it was like a second person to be honest. Just interrupting all the time. So I opened some drawers in my house and I, I knew because I had it, I found an old Vivanco keyboard for 15 euros, which I'm currently using. It's so much more silent and I guess from now on I'll just use this thing and when it breaks I'm gonna get a new one. This shovel, I can just leave it to despawn. It's not very good and how many durability did it have? Zero! My oh my! No, we're gonna keep that. We're going to keep this zero durability shuffle because I like how there's a zero because that would mean that it is technically broken. How does that work? And while I was doing my mining session, I ran into the mine shaft I discovered in the first episode. And I just did a bit of a cheapskate move and I stole the rails from there so I don't have to craft as many uh, as many rails to reach the village. <laughs> and a thing that I want to do is I want to utilize an item that is considered useless by many players. I want to use a furnace minecart because a furnace minecart gives you a lot of momentum and that is great for transporting the villagers over without having to gather more powered rails. Okay, lesson for a lifetime. Don't run around right clicking in your wooden house with your axe. Okay, th those are some serious amounts of rails. Let's head off towards Manfred's home and hopefully, I mean, this is quite a far way. I don't think that that's even enough rails. Let's see, we're just gonna build as far as we can. Oh, this, uh, this is an interesting position. Oh, hello there. <laughs> but we're just gonna build as far as we can come. Oh, this is Manfred, by the way. Yes, uh, Mr. Mr. Mending. He apparently is, uh, is a bit shy. Oh, I, I didn't mean to ride you. Hel hello. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm I'm just stealing your citizens, but uh, I, I hope that's okay. Now we have to get them out of their house, which I don't know how hard that's going to be. Oh, they, they've made another villager. And they're embarrassed. They don't like you. <laughs> What have you done wrong? I mean, he is, he's pretty dumb. He just tried to kill himself by running into that block, but he was the only one to go into the minecart. So we're gonna keep him. I mean, I kinda don't want to keep him, but Manfred, I need, I need you. Manfred, come on. Manfred, please. Dude, I, I need you. Go, go in the minecart, will ya? I, I've bought two mending books off of you. I can buy even more. Just come with me. Please, dude. I'm, I'm trying to move it so it maybe it'll pick him up on the way. <gasps> yes, he did it. I'm so proud of you, Manfred. We are going somewhere. Oh, 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 oh. Thank God. And hopefully... This will take them a long way. And their kid is already back here. My goodness. Like, look at him. I mean, he is slowing down a bit. But then there comes Manfred to propel him. And they are both stopping. Yeah, I, I expected that. 
Let's see if the furnace minecart has enough momentum. Looks like it. God, I, I really like this feature. Why does no one use this? This is very good. They're just... This thing just keeps on pushing them. Wow. Okay, now... Um, I kind of fear... That you guys despawn on me. Not you, Manfred. I've, I've traded with you. But you. So I'm quickly going to get myself my name tags. Gonna rename them. Mr. Manfred. And you're going to be uh, the disappointment. How do you actually spell that? Is it with double P or is it with one? Anyway, I'm going to disappoint you. When I'm typing this wrong, so it doesn't matter. This is a very good pun in of itself. If it is actually grammatically like wrong, if it's <laughs> this is a great pun if I spelled it wrong, because then it's a disappointment to you. <laughs> That's great. I actually hope I spelled it wrong now. So you are the disappointment. You're sneaking up on me, trying to get you named. You know what's that? That's gonna get you killed. And you are Manfred. Manfred and the disappointment. I don't actually know why I'm so mad at this kid. Like, he didn't disappoint me at all. He went into the minecart, like, voluntarily. He's willing to help me and all that. But, you know, his parents just immediately... Turned around as I discovered him, like, oh my god. Not our kid. He is so embarrassing. He is a disappointment. He's just such a disappointment to us. Gotta say, this is pretty satisfying. Just gathering all of these rails back. Oh, there's one missing. But since it goes so fast, this is actually pretty fun. And as I'm collecting these rails, I'm just thinking it would be quite a nice addition to my little area if we would have a, just a very designated place for them. Like an actual villager house. And they're going to live in there. We can then hide like a villager breeder in the basement or something. Out of rails once again. Let's get ourselves the villagers and my Elytra is running low again, so we need to get them fast. Block right there, coal and off you go. This minecart only had one piece of coal for the entire ride. Like furnace minecarts are a bit wacky sometimes as <laughs> it looks. What the hell is going on here? But they work the job. They are working just fine. Wow. I am almost done with transporting Manfred and the disappointment into our little base area. The only thing that is now missing is pretty much a space for them to live. And I kind of want to get that set up first. I will start off by collecting a few trees just to get a good supply of wood. I want to incorporate some cobblestone with acacia wood on their house. Let's see how that turns out. But I think it's gonna be just fine. While I'm doing this I might as well address two comments that popped up um, because I was just reading through them today I'm kind of pre-recording, so I may get to those a little bit late, but yet I still get to those, which is probably the most important thing. Firstly, I got a suggestion for the parrot's name, and a guy told me to name him Benny. And I really like the idea, because Benny is also the name of a drummer I really like. Uh, you don't know this about me yet? But I am playing the drums since 12 years and he uh, 
kind of reminded me with his funky hairstyle of Benny Grabs, funky playing. He's pretty much one of my idols, so naming him Benny is a very cool idea. I will definitely think about that. And secondly, I got a request multiple times from the same guy who was following me since I started, so thanks to him. But he f like asked me multiple times to make a server. I kind of told him, all right, I'm going to think about it. And I left him with his question semi-answered. Because I told him that I would love to have a server, but I don't know about prizes and all that stuff yet. And I have to research because I've never made a Minecraft server and I don't know how much it costs and whatever. But I researched a little bit today. Turns out it's actually quite cheaper than I remember it because I, for some reason, searched that up years ago. And there weren't as many possibilities as there are now. And it seems to be that that sort of stuff got a lot more accessible for the average YouTuber and the average person and just generally. So I am looking forward to creating a server, but under one circumstance, because my community is undeniably very small and it is very small yet. We shall not forget that, right? I'm confident that we can get more people. Um, maybe not like the big channels, but a decent amount, right? I also want to play on that server, but the server aspect only really makes sense if you have multiple people playing online at the same time. And I don't know if we would have that by now. Like maybe we were one or two people online, but I want to maybe have five to 20 people online at the same time. So that's why I'm going to wait for 50 people that have subscribed to this channel. And once I have reached 50 subscribers, I'm going to make a server. And for the time being, I will sort out where I can get my server um, and where I can get the best server possible for you guys to also have a decent time on together with me. Because I really like the idea, but a server to me is always playing with other people and not just having a world where multiple people have access to. Hmm. Now, I'm, I don't know where I want to put the house. That was a very butchered. Uh, maybe I want to... I do have a little bit of durability left, so let's have a look. We could build it over here. Or over here, I'm thinking, I'm thinking over there would be a lot more suitable. Yes, 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 yes. I think that will look a lot nicer. Alright, so a few days later, we now have a new house around our little area. And I am embarrassed because it is already looking better than mine and it's way, way smaller. But I guess it is easier to get detail into smaller builds because they pop a little more. And as you can see it back there, there is the lovely shed that the villagers now call their home. As you can see, there is no longer a rail leading all the way over this mountain. That has all been removed and instead we have a nice custom tree, one more rock and uh, a bit of decoration around this side just to cover up some of the blocks that were showing through from the from the basement. And you know, this looks pretty small. You wouldn't fit a villager in here, you'd think. And it's very, very tiny. But once you go into the basement, there's a lot more going on. And I'm thinking that we're gonna have like a villager breeder off in this section and potentially some decorations in these rooms. 
And then we'll have this very beautiful walkway down here. We can expand this hallway all the way back to infinity uh, as long as we want actually. And then we have Manfred over here, which I gave one of these little apartments. And they are all three block wide. They are very comfortable, very big apartments for villagers. But we're gonna have them here and they're gonna hopefully trade with us. We have to get more villagers over because I currently only have the disappointment right here. I, you can't see his name, but trust me, he is the disappointment. And, you know, he is the son of Manfred. As you all know, incest is gross, so we're going to get ourselves n some more villagers because I don't want that going on. And now I think um, it is pretty much time to wrap this one up. We haven't done as much in this episode, but I mean, we've transported villagers. That is always particularly annoying. And I've built up this little area around here, which looks kind of lovely. For now, that's going to be it. I'm going to say goodbye from our beautiful surroundings right here. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.